Right, so you want to make that looking cool screen by inhibit. When I said easy, it's goddamn easy. So that's, I'm gonna show you from a couple of ways that you can do. First, I'm gonna make a just normal cube, I guess. And then I'm gonna copy the cube, make it thinner. And then I'm gonna add a cylinder. And then I'm gonna add another cube, duplicate this cube. And then I'm gonna try to um, maybe like this. Just make some shapes here. And maybe like this. Maybe like that. Rotate. Extrude more. And like that. Rotate more. And then maybe this one. And higher like that. And then maybe this one. Bit. Okay. So we have four. Uh, different type of objects here. I'm going to show you how you can easily add those screen. First, add me image as plane, and find that video that you want. Put it there. I'm just going to pick any video that I have here. Let's. This is uh, Ian Hubert. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Image as planes and uh, click that, and make sure it's on emissions. Uh, emit here, and once it go, once it's there, you can just delete it. And here I'm going to show you how you can put it on the cube. If you want to put, uh, let's see, add a metal first, right? Um, wait, I'm going to add, a, maybe I want to put a screen here. So I could just do some inside maybe, like that. Yep. And then, and then this one, I'm going to click plus and then assign. Uh, I mean new and then assign. So, you can try to edit the first material to make it darker maybe like that and then maybe add metallic to it turn the roughness down and add a bit bevel and then for the second material find that um, open uh, split the screen and open that shader editor here and split the screen again for the UV editor so you can try to go to shader ed editor here and then you just try to click this one this browse material to be link and find that video of yours you can try to yeah it was the latest one see and you already have it there so if you want to have more um, you can try to you unwrap you can use unwrap or key projections I guess key projection would be good here, so you can like that, or maybe just try unwrap, just try um, all the things that you like, and then I'm gonna put it here maybe, yeah, exactly, uh, yeah, look at that. If I play, it's actually moving, right? It's actually that easy. So let's move on to this thing. I could make a let's make a lot of it okay wait i'm just going to edit mode and select all okay select all and then copy and then select all and then copy and select all and copy z axis i guess i'm going to put it more here and i'm going to select all and copy here and then from here i could select this new uh, this front faces all right so uh, add new for the material and add new again and by the way if you want to edit like if you want to have some boundaries um, for it you can um, the thing that I usually do making a quick chamfer is inset I and then inset again but hold control so you can push outwards or inwards is up to you and it's inwards now and then you're gonna try add new don't touch uh, don't click anything because the the face is already selected and you assign so you can try to match all preview again and then edit the first material maybe you just change it to that thing like that the same one and then the second one you're gonna try to move it to here 
so it's it's it has like um, every every cubes has a same screen right by the way if you try to click all or only the, the screen just click select this one so it's gonna instantly select those um, those screen faces and you cube projections and there you go isn't that just amazing and don't forget though when you're trying to make a some kind of like more realism select all and separate by maybe by loose parts yes loose parts so you can try t what that does it's gonna separate all everything if it's uh, if it's not connected to each other so you can try to select all this and F3 and then randomize randomize transform here so you're gonna pop up this little screen up here uh, down here so you can try to play with the yeah like that like that Z and maybe with the S and rotate it like that oh by the way uh, that's wrong sorry I before you try to randomize make sure everything it's on its origin um, I mean the origin on its uh, geometry sorry so I mean if you see here all the origin is on this one look at that so you can try to select and then set origin to geometry so it's gonna uh, the origin gonna be into their geometry itself right away so do that again F3 and randomize and you can now play with the rotation like that and mm, maybe like that maybe play with the scale I don't know maybe you want to and then if you go to metal preview it's still gonna stick with the same one but it has more uh, variations to it so it's not gonna be like perfect because it's weird you know looking something weird, like perfect if you only try to make something like real and this one you know I'm gonna move this all the way up and then I'm gonna add support loops here and then add a bevel maybe let add yeah like this and then I'm gonna select this one and then select this one and then control to this one and maybe select this one shift and control this this uh, no. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe this one inside this one. And from here, I'm just gonna duplicate it and separate it by selection. And there you have it. So I'm gonna go to extrude along normals like that, and then I'm gonna insert it. I'm gonna do an insert. Oh. Just a bit, tiny bit, and inside again, and hold control, put it inside. So, do that again, put the material, and then plus again, add a material and assign to this one. So, you can try to put the second material into the scene, and then second one into the, the thing. And also, this one, let's add some, I like that. Switch smooth, don't forget that normals as a smooth and there you have it even more looking good and maybe if you want to have more controls to each screen and you can try to click this one and then just you have maybe you have you want you want it to have um, a different like each screen you have then edit just that that uh, that one screen that you want to change then try to change it then select I mean select the faces and then keep projections there you have it like that and there you go so you can even put like you know uh, a different screen and this one is going to be different and that one going to be different it's all up to you and this one as well same thing it's not uh, maybe you want to have a separated so you can click inset oops what is that why is that happening Oh, can I just insert by itself? You can select everything here, okay? Insert and insert again. So it's gonna uh, in individual insert, and I'm gonna do it again. Insert again, 
and then hold control and let's make it like that so um, yeah try to do it again go to edit mode and select new and add plus new again and sign and right away it's gonna have an instance finish on this one you're gonna add this one and hit play and if that happening just try to unwrap it or a key project and stay you have it so here you have um, four type of and you can do more actually it just depends like you can design your own types of uh, designs and don't forget once you put a uh, machinery textures it's gonna look even more cooler let me show you I'm gonna add that and select only select that one not the uh, Oops. Set my select. Yeah, this one. Um, and then you good projections. And there you go. Maybe make it uh, add a hue. Uh, um, and reference down. And then maybe add color to normal. And then normal. Map and bomb. And a color too high, put the thing down, it's way too high, and there you go, there you have it. And try to play with the, the thing, it's still way too high though, true. Maybe like, oh, yeah, like 1.80, like that. Doesn't that really look good? So, if you want that, you can try to put it here. Look at that, isn't it? Isn't that just cool? Already. So yeah, that's all and thank you guys for watching